in the name of Jesus between now and August between now and August God is telling me that what he will do in your life will bring you rest because this has been your prayer rest whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper I shorten the distance between you and your helper in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare everyone who forgot you may they remember you tonight not tomorrow may they remember you tonight may they remember you for good may they remember you for kindness may they remember you for promotion may they remember you for lifting may they remember you for help may they be instruments of restoration in the name of Jesus anyone who has said where is your God may this week be their answer from Monday to Sunday let there be testimonies that show where your God is in the name of Jesus and any covenant with hell with the grave with the spirit of death we sever that covenant now let me pray for a man of God who is in ministry may your hands be strengthened that this remaining part of the year you will wax valiant you will do ministry with power you will bring great glory to the name of the Lord let me pray for a family here in spite of what may be happening around the nation I pray for you may a mark of exemption land on your head a mark of exemption let it rest on your head in the name of Jesus if you must travel no accidents if you are in the air no plane crash I decree and declare if you must travel let the angels go before you clearing out wicked men from the road in the name of Jesus I pray for your children you will not hear bad news you will not hear they've joined occult groups you will not hear they are destroying the destiny of others in the name of Jesus your portion in this Abuja let it be delivered to you your portion in Nigeria let it be delivered to you your portion across the globe let it be delivered to you in the name of Jesus I prophesy no more delay no more delay for your job no more delay for your papers no more delay for your children no more delay let me pray over your spiritual life fresh fire on your prayer altar shout amen fresh fire on your prayer altar you are loving Jesus with all your heart serving Jesus with all your heart I declare the grace for the study of the word let it rest upon you I separate you from wicked people I separate you from evil people in the name of Jesus you will not beg for food to eat let strangers be sent by God to help you in the name of Jesus in your place of work good news this week I say it again in your place of work good news this week in your business enjoy good news this week whatever you are waiting for it arrives speedily in the name of Jesus wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise for tonight thank you thank you Heavenly Father thank you Heavenly Father thank you Heavenly Father thank you Heavenly Father for someone difficulty has come to an end you have enjoyed progress but with difficulty now step into the realm of ease over your finances may God give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places oh you will find treasures this week your eyes will see where others do not see in the name of Jesus every agreement between your family past and the devil that everyone from this family must worship the devil or worship some shrine you may call it any name whether you call it Aleku whether you call it whatever it is I stand here by the voice of prophecy I cancel every agreement I cancel every agreement from Plateau State to Benue State to Kogi State to the East to the West every agreement with the waters 
agreement with the sea, agreement with spirit. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. My dear sister, every veil on your face that as people look at you in the realm of the spirit, they are seeing something else. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, if you have the faith to believe this prayer, I tear that veil right now. 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 Now let me say this. Let me say this. Please listen to me. Gentlemen, I'm going to pray a very special prayer for you now. It's a prayer that I pray for myself. And when it's time to pray, everybody can receive. But the men, I want you to receive it. The spirit of a servant and a beggar. There are families that have that covenant. The only way they live is by being beggars. If you like, go and do a PhD anywhere around the world. It is the women that feed the men. No matter how hardworking they are. Let me tell you, it's a cause from hell. Things can happen temporarily, I understand. But where it becomes the norm, 30 years into marriage, the house was built by the wife. The car was bought by the wife. The only thing the man is doing is just to live there. It is against divine order. He said, after you have suffered for a while, that the God of all grace will establish you, settle you. Everyone here, that which has fought quality marriages in your family, this miracle service, you will not forget it in a hurry. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are people who have no business hating you, except that they kept companies and they transferred the hatred of antagonists to them and it fell on you. Your boss used to love you until someone who does not like you told your boss to join them in hating you. And now you are fighting battles you cannot explain. Let me tell you the truth. It is your responsibility to sanitize your environment and that through prayer. Are we together now? The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. When a gatekeeper speaks evil about you, it can peg your destiny. When a, an evil person gets to the ears of your helper before your arrival, they can bring whispers of, the, of, of demons. And by the time you arrive from their ears, their hearts have been poisoned. When they look at you, they say, I've changed my mind. My intention was to lift you. My intention was to wipe your family. But somebody came and told me, your family is not worth helping. And they recycle seasons of pain. Let me pray for someone. Anyone who has sent a wrong word to the ears of your helper. And without you knowing that your helpers have had things about you. That is responsible for the antagonisms. I'm praying for you. Be delivered this night. Be delivered this night. Be delivered this night. From the scourging tongues of men. Be delivered this night. In the name of Jesus. Please stretch your hands to this prayer request. Stretch your hands and begin to speak as an act of faith. We don't do this as a ritual. No. If God does, we don't have to do it in a miracle service. No. It is always because we have a release by the Spirit of God. It is no ritual at all. This is God visiting his people. If you are bringing a request, please bring it quickly. Everyone, you are praying. Father, answer me by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are not just a prayer hearing God. You are a prayer answering God. Let me not have to repeat these things I've written again. Satisfy me early with your mercy. Someone is praying. 
satisfy me early take a minute to pray you are investing you wrote for your husband you wrote for your wife now pray for them you wrote for your children now pray for them you came to church receiving believing for someone else pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ pray for them pray for them, pray for them. Pray for them. father you are a prayer answering God I lay my hands over this request answer your people give them testimonies let it come to pass let it come to pass let it come to pass that you have shown them faithfulness let it come to pass that you have shown them mercy let it come to pass that you have turned their captivities let it come to pass in the name of Jesus that the doors have been opened let it come to pass an upgrade to the quality of their lives let it come to pass visit them impossible miracles in the name of Jesus for in Jesus name we pray for in Jesus name we pray in the name that is above all names doors open koinonia receive it doors open every nation that has rejected you not after this service I decree and declare let the gates be open for you I say it again every nation that has rejected you not after this service in the name of Jesus let the gates be open for you I want to salute you from the depth of my heart I have watched the discomfort firsthand that managing autistic children there are people who had to cancel their jobs completely those some had to relocate to other nations I remember once meeting a lovely man a lovely family I visited years ago in London lovely people but they had this child with an aggressive dimension of autism like aggressive if you ever go to bed and leave that child you may wake up with the house on fire are we together so when we pray for people like this it's an act of responsibility because I tell you this autism thing is a satanic thing from the pit of hell can tie down any destiny you know sometimes we have people here after service I have the honor of praying for some of these people and you can see a grown young man the mother cannot live her life again she suffered to give birth to him and she will still not rest you're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. How about the mental health problem? Intelligent people who should be walking. I know one who lacerates himself with a um, knife or objects like this. You see that because of anger and frustration and some of them in that frustration they go online and then they start connecting with with extra biblical spiritual things for solution they are introduced to all kinds of satanic things technology for you you will see testimonies from this prayer when when god speaks let me tell you my dear people if you have an autistic child take your mind away and look unto jesus release your faith don't say i prayed before and if you are following online perhaps you have an autistic child you can bring the child forward and connect i'm about to pray for the sick but it was just put in my heart look how many people standing either for their own children or some other people they love let's stretch our hands as a family over these ones go ahead stretch your hands if god has given you children who are healthy and normal always thank him but sow that seed to another family lord visit this family wipe their tears not to talk of families that have multiple children with autistic conditions koinonia connect by faith a miracle is about to happen right now pray Lord deliver these families deliver these children give their parents rest for God's sake give their parents rest in Jesus name I pray 
I want to rebuke the spirit that is back of that autistic condition and that demonic condition. Father, I'm praying right now for all the precious families in front. Some of them are parents standing for their children. Some of them are siblings standing for their other siblings. Some of them are loved ones just standing for neighbors and friends. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. The spirit that is back of any autistic condition or any mental health condition right now i speak to you here at this miracle service leave god's people now leave god's people now let there be healing for our children now it doesn't matter how long they've carried it i pray that the power of god will rest upon them that those children will sleep and wake up normally those who are not able to talk some of them that soon after this prayer they will begin to talk and speak coherently in the name of Jesus Christ and if there is any pattern of it in your bloodline as you are standing here we cancel it now we cancel it now in Jesus name we pray I'm praying for you Godia in the name of Jesus between now and August, for one of you, one of you, between now and August, God is telling me that what you will do in your life will bring you rest. Because this has been your prayer. Rest. And one of the issues is marriage. Rest. It will, it will happen so fast it will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will happen so fast it will surprise you. In the name of Jesus. And for anything that the devil has planted, help that lady, in your stomach, fibroids or whatever grows, I curse it right now. It stops growing and it dies permanently. Help that lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. A dream. Was it not through a dream Solomon received wisdom? Dreams are vehicles. They can transfer nonsense and they can transfer grace. A dream is also a portal in the spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I know some of you here didn't really have a dream. You just came up, but no problem. The mercy of God, but hallelujah. Obedience sometimes, when you want to receive from God, just, just obey. Amen. But let's pray. God is a merciful God. Father, I decree and declare anyone carrying anything in their body now that came from a dream realm and is waiting quietly to manifest as cancer, waiting, you are, you are beginning to see symptoms, pain, weakness, growth that looks like appendicitis, but it's not appendicitis in the name of Jesus. Because for someone, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want you to, to I'm seeing it looks like almost like an ovarian cyst but it's not it's not a cyst is is growing to become something that is cancerous in the name of jesus we cry unto the god of heaven let it stop growing now and die from this body let it stop growing now and die from this body let it stop growing now and die from this body i say it again let it stop growing now and die from this body in the name of Jesus I may not have the liberty to describe what I'm seeing you're a lady but you need help this one what you need is both prayer and medical attention please listen to me now what you need because there's there's wisdom in dealing with things because with what the Lord is revealing to me this is something that is a reproductory problem you may need to meet the medical uh, uh, people maybe immediately to help you because i'm going to pray for you but in all honesty you also need to be attended to medically because i'm seeing that this has is not something that is good and let me use this opportunity and challenge believers we are people of faith but take responsibility over your health are we together there is nothing wrong and it is not lack of spirituality when you find yourself maybe there's some pain 
there's some boil, there's some growth, there's some, you know, whatever it is. And sometimes people do not want to look like they are not believing God. So they don't take medical steps. There is nothing wrong. I do not believe there's anything wrong. Are we together? Most challenges can be managed at the stage of infancy. At least medicine has been that advanced. And while you are trusting God to step in, there are some things that only medicine would deal with because the, the condition of this lady is not something to say in public. It's not safe, it's not wise even. But let me advise you, don't feel bad. You can go to the medical stand and you can talk with the doctors, they are trained, and they will help you and recommend a solution for you now. Otherwise, you're going to destroy your organs in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God comes to give us wisdom. Are we learning now? So that don't be careless. While you are trusting God for a miracle, it's important to take personal responsibility. Personal responsibility. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing someone I need to pray for you. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I don't know how many variations of diabetes, but you have sugar diabetes. Sugar diabetes. And if I don't pray for you, this thing has produced a lot of internal injuries. I want to pray for that person. Diabetes. I don't know whether it's a young person, elderly person. I don't mean to embarrass you, but I'm having a very strong prompting within my heart to pray for people with diabetes. So even if you don't have the courage to come out, no problem. When I begin to pray for people, open up your heart to receive. But diabetes, we need to pray that. Why is she here? Lady. The teacher. Look at me. You are a teacher? Where? Private school teacher, secondary. Primary school teacher. Private school teacher, secondary teacher. Are you married? How many children do you have? I have four. One gone. One is gone. These are teachers? Okay. Diabetes. We're a family. We're a family. So once you can stand in, well, I won't say you can stand in for someone who have too many people come out. If you're standing for someone, just remain on your seat and connect by faith so that we have people who are standing in for themselves. Just bring Mama gently here as we pray that devil out of her body. Look at me, my dear. You are a teacher too. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Um, yes, you just put them one side. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Ah, I'm praying here, but what I'm seeing has nothing to even do with the spirit of death. Look at me. This lady wearing, look at me. I want, where are you from? Oh, he stayed. I need to rebuke a spirit. There's a dangerous spirit of death hovering around your life. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name that is above all names, the sound of death will not be heard in your family again. I curse that spirit right now and I declare be delivered now. If you have diabetes, come out. Oh, let me pray for you. When God speaks, it's because there's an anointing on it. There's an anointing on it. Fathers, mothers, if you are not sure, don't just come out for a medical condition. Remember Gehazi? Don't come out for a condition you don't know anything about. So please, make if you are here to diagnose it, just come. I need to pray. These young people, are they on their own? Huh? Do they understand what I said? Find out, please. No, no, I know. I'm talking about a, a little one. Say, you, you diag diagnosed with diabetes? Two of them? Okay, I can see it. There will be mighty testimonies. I'm not a doctor, but I've seen people die from this satanic thing. It's a silent killer. Madam, the anointing is on you, this woman. I decree and declare right now. Huh? Let, let that demonic thing... You see, most of it is demonic. I'm telling you this. I lay my hands upon you by faith. Every spirit planting diabetes that in spite of treatment, in spite of the drugs, it does not seem to give way. Help, help that woman. I command right now, be loose from that demonic thing. Be loose from it now. Be loose from it now. Be loose from it now. Every internal injury that has refused to heal or physical injury that has refused to heal traceable to diabetes 
in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Help that woman. Let the power of God rest upon you now. You shall not die. Shout amen. You shall not die. If it has killed someone within your family, in the name of Jesus, I declare minus you. Minus you. Therefore, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, diabetes be healed now. Diabetes be healed now. Diabetes be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return to your seat rejoicing. God bless you. Thank you. Return to your seat rejoicing. God bless you. God bless you. You know, while we were having the Sound of Revival conference, I made a call. I was, I think that was in US. I was so humbled. I made a call for those who needed to stand in, having their children suffering from mental health or autism. I could not believe the number of people who came out. Now, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not speaking professionally. I don't know what is responsible for this mental health damage and this autism, but I feel led in my spirit to just do this. Now, please listen. If you have a child, you don't necessarily need to come with a child, but if you, you, are, you are standing in trusting God for your child or someone, mental health or autism, please, very quickly, we have one minute. Come and stand here. I want to speak over your life. Mental health. Damage, mental health damage or autism. An autistic child. Let's all pray. Let's all pray while they come. It, it doesn't have to be your child. I hear me, if you don't have children yet, connect and pray that as I'm praying for them, I am sowing a seed. Some of those children were born normal. The devil just attacks them to plague them with autism. Please do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. The first prayer we are going to pray is concerning the favor of God. Please listen. I know you will think that because you are part of a ministry with the grace for favor, it is working in your life. I found out that this is it's not working in the lives of many people. And the Lord put it in my heart. This was strong while we're in Canada. That on my return, we should take the time, few minutes to pray. So we're going to pray that grace. How do you know that the favor of God is upon you? Men will show you unusual kindness. They will show you unusual acceptance. They will show you unusual access. Are you ready to pray? Shout it, say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Let the grace for favor begin to speak in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. This would be a major reason why someone came to church tonight. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. A major reason. Please pray. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. Someone pray. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. Favor. A redefiner of possibilities. Favor. The unique edge to business. The unique edge to ministry. The favor of God. Provoked by value. Provoked by relationships. Provoked through prayer. Provoked by the anointing. Go ahead and pray. Let favor rest upon me. That if I did not receive anything in tonight's service, let me carry that grace. Let me carry that grace. Someone pray. Let me carry that grace. Let it speak redefining my finances. Let it speak redefining my opportunities. Let it speak redefining my realities. Online, make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. There is a grace called favor. It can come on men. The results can be evident. Bringing acceleration to your life. That whilst you serve the purposes of God, you advance with dignity. You make progress with dignity. Favor can redefine your marriage. The favor of God can redefine your family. It is not unmerited. Favor is merited. Favor is programmable. Favor is merited. Favor can be programmable. 
Pastor, declare favor upon your life, favor upon your ministry, favor upon your business, access to kindness, access to unusual acceptance. In the name of Jesus, unusual kindness, unusual acceptance. Pray favor over your business. In addition to your productivity, you need favor. Pray favor upon your ministry. In addition to your diligence and consecration and love for Jesus, you need favor. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray this final prayer with all your heart. Jesus was teaching us how to pray and he said two things. Number one, he said, deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Is the second prayer I penned down while in Canada, the Lord put in my heart. Many of you do not know the mystery of calamities. Listen to my message, deliverance from calamities. You don't have to be an evil person to be a victim of calamities. Are we together now? Mishaps, misfortune. It says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Did you know there are people who walk head on and collide with calamity? Head on. They are looking and you will think they are watching until they collide with calamity. Deliver us from evil. Are you ready to pray? Shout it. Say, Father, I decree and declare that the rod of the wicked will not come near my dwelling i am delivered from trouble from pain from setbacks from calamity go ahead and pray please open your mouth and pray calamity of any and all sorts i'm escaped like the bird before the net the rod of the wicked someone pray the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked the rod of kidnappers the rod of armed robbers the rod of evil men the rod of ill ill speaking men the counsels of Ahithophel, the rod of the wicked, in your place of work, Koinonia pray, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. In your business endeavor, deliver me from evil. Deliver me from the scourge of the tongue. Deliver me from the ill wishes of wicked men. Deliver me from there that will not rest till they see your tears. Those who have vowed not to rest till they see your pain. Those who have vowed not to rest till they see you defeated. Those who have vowed not to rest. Pray, deliver me from there who are in fraternity with dark spirits, looking forward to your downfall, looking forward to mishaps happening to you. One more minute, you are praying. Stretch that prayer to your children. Stretch that prayer to your spouse. Stretch that prayer to the works of your hands. Oh, I escape like the bird before the snare of the fowler. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I place an anointing on you. The anointing that came on Rebecca, that out of the many ladies who were at the water side, when the servant of Abraham saw her, he knew that this is the wife for Isaac. Let that grace rest on you. 
and every gentleman here whether you are standing for yourself your siblings or your children in the name of Jesus the grace for your hand to be strengthened so that you can move to another season of your life I decree and declare let that grace rest on you in Jesus name please return to your seat rejoicing let's celebrate them return to your seat rejoicing gentlemen lend me your attention now I want to talk to you I will never raise a people who are only spiritually vibrant and then remain economically incapacitated it is a curse from the pit of hell quote me anywhere are we together the inability to provide for your family and to live a life of dignity and honor this is something that you have to fight and fight and fight again please make sure you help the people so that nobody is hurt hallelujah now look up please brothers I'm praying for everyone but I'm praying for you you may not know the implication of this prayer but there are many parents today in their 70s and 80s they are still feeding their children till today mama is using her retirement to feed 8 10 15 children it ought not to be so and it's not like the gentlemen are lazy I don't know why God is moving in this direction today but I believe that God is insisting that the glory of God must be announced in your life. Are we together? Yes. Do you know one of the reasons why people are getting into Yahoo and uh, cultism uh, and money ritual? I will tell you because everybody wants to make progress. And when people are pressed like this, they only honor what is consistent with their convictions. So when the gentleman wants to make ends meet, it is not necessarily out of desperation or wanting money. Some just want a decent life. But since it is not there, they watch a friend who was once a beggar. And in one month or two months, for going to kill somebody or doing something, now has a car, now has a house. No matter what you say, there are people who will be desperate enough and say, show me. Even if it's to sacrifice my mother, I will sacrifice her. So on one hand, we don't just tell people stop money ritual, stop sin, stop this. You have to show people the way. If you don't show them the way, you will be talking nonsense on stage. They will, people are desperate. They will follow the direction of salvation or a semblance of it. I want to pray for every gentleman here. I confess to you that being established with the dignity of kingdom integrity, outside the help of God is almost difficult for many men in our generation today to get a house of your own without stealing without killing without destroying without bribery if God does not help you you'll be wasting your time there are people who have finished school 20 years 25 years they've not had the first job when are they going to how much is one block how much is one cement when are you going to build a house for yourself talk less help others that's where grace comes and I want to pray for you I want you to receive it God is a helper you're the lifter of men the lifter of men I believe that with all my heart father I pray for everyone here but particularly the gentlemen I decree and declare everyone who is genuinely part of this grace by the power that raised Christ from the dead whether you are here on ground outside, outside connecting across the globe I pray for you it would do you like a dream the way God will establish you I say it from the depth of my heart it will be as if you are dreaming how my God will lift you. God will cause productivity to be your second name. God will raise strategic relationships as a leverage for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hands now. 
a healing miracle. Please lay your hands very quickly. A breast lump, lay your hands there. Heart condition, lay your hands there. Headache, lay your hands there. Leg pain, lay your hands there. If it's a blood disease, lay your hands on your heart as a point of contact. Please, let's do that quickly and by faith. Remember my teaching? Now is the time to release your faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, your people have come and many have come to be healed. We've come to receive all kinds and all variety of miracles, but many have come to be healed. In the name that is above all names, I decree and I declare right now over someone who has been plagued by sickness, plagued by infirmity, in the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of that condition, I come against you now. Amen. Koinonia shout a believing amen. amen. The spirit that is back of that infirmity be arrested now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now I declare be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Your blood be cleansed. Bone conditions be healed. HIV be healed. Cancer disappear. Lumps and growths across various parts of your body. They come under arrest now. You couldn't walk. You came here aided or you know you could not walk. I declare strength to your limbs now. You came here unable to see. Begin to see now. Unable to hear. Begin to hear now. You couldn't move any part of your body, your neck, your ankles, your arms. In the name of Jesus, let life surge to those parts of your body. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare. Peptic ulcers be healed. Pile, be healed. There's someone you have like a boil inside your armpit. Severe discomfort. Be healed now. There's someone, don't be embarrassed, but I'm seeing this. You have, and I've seen this many times. You have what they call mouth odor. It's, it's a very pungent smell. You know about this and it's affected you. You've done your best. Looks like some cavity problem. In the name of Jesus Christ, whilst you make the medical efforts to deal with it, I'm praying for you. Let the spirit that is bringing this situation leave you now. Amen. There's someone you have a problem, you have a problem swallowing. Even when you don't take anything, it looks like you are swallowing something that never goes down. You know, just like some problem with your throat. The Lord is healing you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing you. There is a child that is a sickler. The Lord is healing that child now. I'm seeing a child whose eyes is quite yellow like it is for sicklers SS. The Lord is healing that child now. In the name of Jesus. Appendicitis be healed now. Liver problems be healed now. Kidney problems be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heart palpitations be healed now. I say it again. Heart palpitations be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your right eye. You're not able to see very well with your right eye. The power of God is touching you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. There's someone, when you sit down, it looks like your bone around the lower back area, there's excruciating pain. I decree and declare, after this prayer, you sit down and find out you are fine. In the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus and by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I bring you life and healing. High blood pressure be healed. Low blood pressure be healed. 
high blood pressure be healed. Low blood pressure be healed. I say it again, high blood pressure be healed. Low blood pressure be healed. Severe burning sensation around your chest be healed now. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Now we're going to pray. I wanted us to pray, my God. I don't know if we'll have the time to take testimonies. There are two prayers the Lord put in my heart and I want us to pray. Okay, let's pray. Even if we don't have the time to testify, we can testify another time. Please stand. Let's pray. Let's pray. I hope you are not tired of receiving. I want to pray a very special prayer right now. And I want you to listen before you come out. It is not something I would usually do. I want you to listen before you come out. You come from a family where there seems to be a cause upon marriages, marital problems. Either nobody gets married or they never stay. If you understand what I just said, I want to pray for you. It, you will see people, beautiful ladies, handsome guys, responsible, but it's like nobody. You see, I'm only acting as the Spirit of God. Is I'm not saying if you want to marry. That's not the question. Listen to instructions. If you want to marry, God will release that grace and call forth your spouse. But I'm talking of families. You know that this is a satanic thing. Please come out. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. Do you know? Look up, please. I even hear that there are families where they tell them that if it is to marry properly and have children. Now, please don't feel bad if maybe you've had a child and you're not yet married or you're a single mom. Don't worry, we're a family of love. But I need to say this. I hear that there are families, with all due respect, where they even tell ladies, you better go and find a man who will get you pregnant so that you can trap the person and have a husband. Let me tell you this with all due respect. It's not a kingdom's way. Don't believe in that nonsense. Are we together? You can, with dignity of kingdom integrity, marry properly to a good man, a good woman. And just because it happened to great-grandfather and father, it is your responsibility to fight it and say, it dies from me. This negative pattern. Are we together now? So I'm about to pray. Fire is going to rest on many of you because you may not know what is responsible. Beautiful lady, handsome guy, you love Jesus. Someone comes to meet you and say, I want to see your, your parents and something just happens like this. But if you agree, to go and have a child or you agree to go and bow to Baal then it looks like it works the devil is a liar God is visiting situations tonight because you see let me tell you for as long as families remain dysfunctional there is a generation that will pay that price now I say this with all due respect but for as long as there is progressive dysfunction in homes eventually a generation there will be a threshold and a generation will pay that price so God is stepping in now to show mercy and I'm glad that some of you are standing do you know what it means as you are standing I told myself as a person I said everything that came from generations past maritally that is not of God I told myself it ends with me that is a covenant I made with my destiny are we together now if you, you did nobody chose where he came from but what you do with the realities before you now is your responsibility if you give excuses and say one day go better i assure you nothing will change but the day you get angry he said the breaker is gone forth you can get angry and say from whatever happened 
children before marriage okay thank god for those who went before me but you make up your mind that from you all it is going to end once and for all who is ready to make that decision i pray for you Shalina some of you is that parents who were not believers in a bid to go and search for solution search for children they fraternized with spirits they went to rivers waters and entered into covenants out of desperation give us children and we'll return them back to you and some of you are victims of these things right now others parents were sincere maybe they had not met jesus christ they went to native doctors and they gave conditions they did not understand by the blood of the eternal covenant any altar here tying down marriages by fire from heaven be delivered now 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 hear me father i lift my hands bowing my knees before your people in the name of jesus i declare over every request here may it come to pass that the answers be delivered to your people speedily may it come to pass that the sickness is finally gone may it come to pass that the job has arrived may it come to pass that the baby has finally arrived may it come to pass that the visa finally came out may it come to pass that the relocation worked may it come to pass that the promotion happened may it come to pass that the cancer is gone may it come to pass that you now own your home may it come to pass that abuja has opened up for you whatever is consistent with god's desire as represented in this request i declare speedy answers the prophetic word for you over this this request is that it will come to pass in jesus name we pray lift your hands to receive the blessing i pray for you